Yo, what's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy First Class 305 coming at y'all with a quick video. For some reason or another, there we go. Now we talking. Sorry about that. Just wanted to fix it up because the screen was looking real small. Half of the head was cut off. Uh, anyways, today is going to be a two-part, you know what I'm saying, two-part video or whatnot. Uh, first off, I'm going to start off with a quick question, man. This is a quick topic for, for, for the sneaker fam. Uh... First and foremost, man, what, how do y'all feel about the Nike Elites, man? I'm over here watching the playoff game, the Mavs and, the, and, and OKC, and right now OKC is beast mode in it. But, you know, my dog Dirk is still putting in work, man. And Terry is beast, and right now Jason Kidd is on some monster shit. Uh, and them threes like it ain't nothing, it's the water. Not like my dog Mario Chalmers did today, though, man. Yo, the Heat put in work. They made the Knicks look horrible. And I'm sorry, man, but Carmelo needs a, needs a supporting cash, man. That's crazy. The Mahari start of my fucked up beyond no recognition. Or like I like to say, foobar that with the whole uh, getting mad hitting uh, a fire extinguisher case was beyond stupid considering they hadn't they hadn't lost the series. They lost two games, but whatever. Emotions run high when you when you're playing in the in the playoffs, so it's no pressure. But Sean Chalmers had a dope game today. Hit five if I'm not mistaken, five five I think five threes. On some beast shit. LeBron James setting them up on some next level. If LeBron James continues playing like this, I'm going to give it to Miami, man. Miami. Because what it looks like, it looks like uh, on the West Coast. I don't think OKC is going to make it too far, though, man. OKC is a young squad. And to be honest with you, playing against the Mavs, which is the oldest team in the NBA, not being, you know, winning games by such small margins. You know, one, one point the first game, three points the second game. And, you know, Mavericks are going to make a comeback because these dudes have made four, three comebacks already since, you know, in the first half. Being down by 15, bringing them back down by five, and so forth and so on. So we'll see what's up, man. I ain't gonna, we're not going to talk too much about that. But, real shit, I want to know how y'all feel about these elites, man. Um, if y'all already know, I'm real big on NBA 2K12. I love that game, so realistic. The game is bananas. Um, and if y'all haven't noticed, man, we got the new Nike Elite update on those. So it's just kind of like one of those epiphanies that I had. And I wanted to talk to the sneaker fiend about uh, the, sne the sneaker fiend team about that and see how y'all feel about these Nike Elites. Do you think that it warrants the $250 price tag, you know, just for the LeBrons in particular, as well as the Kobe's? And you're talking about Kobe's, which, <clears throat> I mean, there's no material in that shoe. It's a low cut shoe. It's not much, it's not anything really going on except for the cushion. Um, but Nike's claiming it's premium materials and they put a price tag on there, 250 or something like that. I want to know how y'all feel about it. I want to know what the sneaker fiend feels about that, man. Personally, I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's, it's worth it, but you know what I'm saying? I guess it's the difference between Toyota and Lexus, same company, cars are all the same. Uh, but you know, I guess they put a pretty packaging on it and, and, and expected to, you know, expect to, 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 to scoop up, the, you know, ridiculous amounts of money, man. That's 250 before taxes. Um, but you know what I'm saying? We'll see what's at. We'll see what's at. I want to know exactly how y'all feel about it. I want to know if y'all think that it's worth the $250 price tag. I want to know your opinions on those. If you think they're dope, if you think they're not dope, uh, I definitely want to hear about that and see how y'all feel about that. Also, what I want to hear about is how y'all feel. How you? What do you think this playoff run is going to look like? I mean, who do you think is going to end up in the finals? Personally, you know what I'm saying? I don't want people to get too hyped with, them, with the heat because, I mean, we all remember last season. And last season, it was pretty much uh, uh, the, the same game that it is right now, especially with the Heat in the first round, man. First round, they always beast mode because they, they still have that regular season mentality. And then the big homie LeBron James just starts bitching up. And they just fall short, man. And it sucks because I think they have the dopest squad. They have the, the, the deepest bench. Last year, it was a problem with the bench. They didn't have big guys in, 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 inside, which they still don't have big guys inside. But the intensity of defense that they balling with is crazy. They shut down Kovacs today, man. It was, it was, it was, it was nuts. Uh, dudes they had no opportunities. And he was, leads the league in, in three points. And they shut him down OD. So, you know what I'm saying? I want to know exactly how y'all feel about that also, man. Um, also... In this video, I wanted to go ahead and touch base because I haven't really, you know what I'm saying? I think I hit y'all up, uh, let y'all know that I had like five, six pickups or whatever. This was an unsuspected pickup. I, I stumbled across it, so it was one of those situations where we got to jump on it. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. I know exactly what it is, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, simple packaging or whatever. It's just double boxing. Oh. So we're going to see exactly where we at. Let me see if y'all can read exactly what it is. There you go. Tell me y'all see that. 
Air Force 180, size 10 and a heezy. So you're gonna see exactly what they look like right now. You know what I'm saying? I had to do this with the sneaker. Oh my God, here you go, here you go. I uh, didn't get these dead stock, uh, cause you know, with dead stock they're asking for ridiculous prices. So I went ahead and, and, and ditched that aspect of it, but Oh man, this dude right here does. I, I, he, that was a hidden gem, the homie. He probably ain't even know about it. Uh, I'm gonna call these mm, NDS. We gonna call these NDS because he definitely wore these a little bit. But it, you know what I'm saying? It's no pressure. All the stars are still here. So if y'all want to know exactly what I'm talking about, what first class three or five is talking about, y'all probably saw a couple of glimpses of, of, of as far as the shoes go. But we're gonna show you right now the heat I'm holding right now. You know, this was also a grill pickup. And I'm beyond elated. I was kind of like, should I do it? Should I not do it? But you know what? Fuck it, I bit. And honestly, I'm beyond happy with the condition. Wow. Give me a minute and let me soak it up and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show the fam exactly where we at. Mm, here we go. Bam. 180s, baby. 180s. These are the, 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 union, the, the union clerk joints. Bananas, man. This shoe is so dope. It's dope, beyond dope, man. We gonna let you. We gonna get some, some. You know what I'm saying? Some high quality imagery. As far as these go, you got the new buck on the back, suede on the back, whatever you wanna call it. Got the elephant print right there. Like I said, worn. I'm not saying they're not worn. I'm not here faking the funk. But all the stalls are still there, so dude couldn't have worn them more than I'm gonna say maybe three, four times or something like that. Look at these joints right here. Look at these joints right here. It's bananas, man. This is the left shoe, bro. Look at the look at the detail on that the, they put off in here, man. It's nuts. You know, look at the tongue right here. I'm a, yo, you talking about a neck, neck breaker, man? Definitely gonna be a neck breaker right here. Look at these bad boys. Look at the the detail that they pulled off with man. I just love the shoe. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying. I was I was really on the fence about scooping these up, man. I, I'm gonna try to make this video short, man, because I'm I'm trying to get that get back to the game or whatnot. Uh, but like I said, this is the left pair. This is the right pair right here. Definitely shows a little bit a little bit of wear on you know what I'm saying as far as uh creasing goes. But it's real, you know. These shoes everybody knows is real resilient, just because uh uh the left elephant print on there it really holds down. Uh, any sort of creasing or whatnot, but you do have a little bit right here. It's nothing major um, But like I said, I was a little bit on the fence about getting these man because last month I spent a ridiculous amount of money on sneakers something around like $2,000 uh, Two things like 26 to be honest with you um, <clears throat> closer to closer to three, but uh, if Anybody who's on the sneaker feeding team knows that I'm happily married man I've been with my wife for 10 years been married for going on three right two years right now Don't let them tell her I told you that but kind of fucked up on that one, but we're going on uh, Excuse me one, two, yeah, but let's say two years. We're going to say two years. We're going on two years. My anniversary is on, oh, shit, the 14th, 15th. Uh, we don't, I don't really keep checking that. Um, I, I got the marriage certificate in there, something like that. But she was really in and out on me because I was spending a ridiculous amount of money. And uh, my wife is going to Cuba this weekend. And I wanted to scoop up some uh, some jewelry for me, some chains out there, because the your gold out there is like something nuts, like eight dollars an ounce. So you know what I'm saying? I gave her like two grand and told her to go, you know, scoop me up a Cuban link, cause I need a Cuban link in my life. So you know, she's kind of beefing with me, talking shit about that, saying that I'm spending too much dough and yada 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 and so forth and so on. So I was real, you know, on the fence about scooping these up, but you know. A hustler's going to be a hustler, and I, I, I actually managed to find, find a way to get these at an amazing price. I'm not too sure I want to tell y'all how much I paid for these, man, but you know what? Y'all the fam, so I'm going to let y'all know. I ended up getting these joints right here for 130 130 shipped. You know what I'm saying? It was nuts, man. These are crazy. These are beyond crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once I sat down and negotiated with the homie and he actually th threw them at me, he was like, yo, you know what? Give me 130 in the yours. It's like, fuck it. I can't pass up on that. It's an amazing deal. Especially going on eBay. You see these union clerk joints going for fucking $300 or some crazy number. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's crazy, though. These shoes are crazy. They're in immaculate condition. I'm, a, you know, I'm definitely going to go ahead and... uh. Uh, treat the new buck in the back a little bit with some OxyClean. If y'all don't know about that, y'all definitely got to get on your job. OxyClean works amazing with these and, you know, get my spray protector on them. 
you know, to take that, take care of that. These are not stuffed. It's not stuffed, so y'all see that the, there's no creasing on there, like no real creasing on there. A little bit on the right shoe, but I mean, it is what it is. But either way, man, that's definitely where it's at. Oh, I definitely want to show y'all this little aspect of it too. I don't know if y'all see this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really get in there so y'all can see that. Let me move that a little bit. Look, look, look how crazy they faded that joint in there. That right there, this that it, that mark right there is what sold me on the sneaker. Just the, the attention to detail, the craftsmanship that this, you know, that they put into making the shoe. You got the, I'm gonna call it pink speckles, maybe. Let me see the exact color of the shoe so that way I can give you an exact color. It's called bright rose, bright rose, bright rose right there, and that's you know what I'm saying. That's basically what it is right there. They, the way that they faded it in on these joints is. Fucking bananas, man. Look at that. That was like almost on some airbrush shit. It's dope, man. That's why I told y'all. I told the fam, you know what I'm saying? I let y'all know that I was definitely stepping away from the Jordan game a little bit. Because, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's lack of quality and all the other good stuff. Uh, when I say stepping away from the Jordan game, I don't mean older releases. Because I'm always looking to scoop up older joints. But, um, you know, it's like scooping up new releases and shit. It's just not worth it anymore. You know what I'm saying? You get lack of craftsmanship. Like you can't get this kind of craftsmanship in any new shoe that comes out. The shoe is amazing. Uh, it fits if the fit is true to size, ten and a half. I'm gonna assume because I haven't tried these. You know what? Let me try these on right now. I always try the right shoe on first because that is the biggest foot that I have. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna have to check my old anatomy and physiology book. But I think that's everybody's big. Oh man, comfortable, comfortable. This is ill right here. I'm not gonna do an on feet review because I ain't trying to take. I'm not. I'm not taking the fucking camera off the tri tripod. So let it live. I'll kick them up though. Let y'all see where it's at. And for some reason or another, I feel like this is the, the joint with sweatpants though. So it's definitely probably how I'm gonna do it. I'm probably go ahead. You know, make these my my supermarket kicks. You know what I'm saying? We're breaking my one time to the mall and then just break these out when I gotta go to the supermarket and whatnot. Um, but overall, man, this is dope, man. These are really, really dope, man. I think I already told you how much I paid for these, which is fucking bananas all together, man. So, real happy I, I, I shot with these, you know what I'm saying? I definitely was shot from the hip with these. So I'm very elated. Uh, also looking for some more old pickups. I missed a chance with a fucking pair of air stabs. It was dope. It was like purple, black, and uh, and yellow, I think it was, or something like that. It, it, sounds, it sounds bonkers, but the colorways were fucking nuts. And I was over here trying to haggle with the homie being the black Jew that I am. And somebody bid on them and bought them for uh, the $79 that they were asking for them. So, I fucked up on that one. I'll take the L. Um, but overall, y'all definitely see this shit. I'm looking real rough around the edges right now. So, next video, y'all see me. I'm going to be fresh to death. Everybody who probably have gotten a lot of messages. I don't know why people keep asking what I use to shave. To, you know, where do, what, do I go to barbershop? Every time y'all see me with the fresh done up, it's definitely done by yours truly. I do it all myself. I told y'all I'm a Jew, so I had to learn how to shake myself up. I use a straight edge to keep the lines fresh, because even with, a, even with, with uh, you know, overdue, this is like two weeks old right there, y'all still see the line of definition on the, on, the, on, the, on the beard or whatnot. But, I mean, that's basically where it's at. Um, the playoff 12s are still for sale. Uh, sorry, I haven't been hitting y'all up about that. I do apologize. What I'm gonna do, I think today, just for the last time, I'm gonna do it because I don't know. I don't really want to bombard my channel with too many for sale joints. But I'm just gonna do one group uh, shot of all the, the joints that have for sale. If anybody wants them, hit me up. Definitely open the trades. Uh, hit me up with what trades you got. No offense, but some nigga hit me up with a size. 12 trade and all my shoes are 10 and a half and 11 be logical it's fucking stupid no offense to you though it's just let's use a little bit of logic when you hit me up about trades and whatnot but yeah that's basically where it's at man i'm gonna do a quick video about that um I'll probably hit it up like in the next maybe 20 30 minutes or whatever but i definitely want to get this video up before the end of this man's game so that way it's somewhat relevant uh, you know what i'm saying uh, got the charge in from a laptop so it's gonna be a one two three or like my spanish would say uno dos tres uh, but true story, it is what it is, man. But like I said, pick up of the day. Yada, yada. This is murder right here. Fucking neck breakers right here. You're going to see these like, ah, neck jerking and shit. You remember Hank, you do Hank's from, from the 49s? Just, yeah, just freaking, up. yeah, neck breaking. Where you at, nigga? What's those? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, but it is what it is, man. Either way, man, it's your, it's your boy, First Class 305. I'm out your, yeah, I'm out your face. Chuck on up the doses. Salute to the sneaker fam. I love